Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Universalis 4. We're going to be starting up a new series here today. So I've made a, little, a few changes to um, Europa Universalis 4. I do have uh, some darker water. It's just a modification that you can find on the Steam Workshop. You can just, you know, find it on there. Um, as well as we're doing a face cam. So let me know if you don't like the face cam or if you like the face cam. But anyway, um, we're going to be starting up a new campaign in, in Europa Universalis 4. I've given this a lot of thought. I've been like, man, what are we going to do? And so I actually decided, why don't we do an Albania game? So Albania is at least supposed to be one of the hardest starts there is. It's very difficult to succeed. It's very difficult to survive. Um, I've actually done this. I've, I've done, what, four different runs, I think, as Albania now. Three or four. I think it's three, actually. I've tried it three different times. Uh, one of them was a failure, and then the other two have actually worked out fairly well. I've actually done okay, and in fact, I even have a save game that I do want to show you. Um, I got to 1493. I got to 1493 as Albania. I do want to show you here. Uh, let's see if it'll load up real quick from this SSD. Um, and this is so far what I have for, for 1493. I actually ended up declaring just a bad war. It was just not a good war at all. We're actually at war with Muscovy. The Ottomans and Ragusa and Crimea. I have uh, the PLC, Hungary, and Austria as my allies. And um, I thought we could actually do it. I thought we would actually be okay in that campaign. And, and it turns out that war was not good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start fresh today. And I want to see if I can do the Albania or Iberia achievement. Albania or Iberia is... You have to be as Albania. And you have to conquer all of Hispania, all the Iberian region. And you have to conquer all of the Caucasus. Uh, so let's actually make sure we reset this bookmark here. There we go. So we're going to find out if I can do it. I don't, I don't know. Um, I think I can do it. I think that should be fine. Um, honestly, it hasn't been as difficult as I thought it would be, but you never know. You got Skanderbeg, Prince Jerzy Skanderbeg, 656. It's funny today, today on the, on the day that I'm doing this campaign on January 17th, today, um, Skanderbeg died this year in 1468 in Venice. He died this day. So I figured, why don't we f play a game in Skanderbeg's honor? <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and try and do that. So let's, let's see how it goes. I am actually really excited. I don't know how well I'm going to do if I'm going to just do terribly. But we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to go. It's This is going to be kind of a... Um, not like a fast start, but we're going to be on speed five for a little while. So we're going to go ahead and uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to get our relations and we need to check who's friendly. Hungary is almost always absolutely positively 100% friendly to Albania. We are Catholic. We don't own any Catholic territory. We're actually Orthodox uh, or our, our province is Orthodox, but we we are Catholic. And that actually does help us out, believe it or not, being being Catholic Super, super helpful for getting an alliance with Austria, Hungary, and then preferably Poland. Um, the best case scenario is that Hungary gets a personal union under Austria, you ally Austria, and then you get an alliance with the PLC, the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Um, day one, we're going to go ahead and send out this, this alliance offer here. Now, this is a problem already, is that Hungary has actually rivaled Poland. And yeah, that's about it. Actually, that's the only problem. So we might not see a we might not see a Polish alliance at all. Actually, unless Hungary gets personal union by Austria, that might just not ever happen. Which is which is fine. I guess that's okay. That's it's not necessary per se. It's just gonna make the game kind of hard. So let's just go on speed five for a little while. But um, ooh, Ragusa wants me to join a trade league. Ragusa starts out guaranteed by the Ottomans. I don't know if I want to do that, actually, because uh, I don't think I will. Actually, I don't. Yeah, because we want to attack. Um, our first target is actually going to be most likely. Okay, so there's a union. We need a Jagiellon. Successor of Varsal III. We're actually probably going to attack Serbia. Um, that's usually what we're going to do. Let's actually go ahead and go go to speed five here for, for a little while. So we're going to go ahead and get that royal marriage with, with, um, with Hungary. Okay, so there is no Habsburg on the throne here. Okay. Let's see. We've been guaranteed by Serbia. Um, Serbia also usually allies Byzantium. 
There it is. They actually allied with Bosnia and Byzantium, so we should expect to see... Oh, son of a bitch. The Ottomans already declared war. Uh, then that means... Actually... He's actually only got 30,000. We've got 38,000. I wonder... I've actually considered this before. Uh, let's actually go down to speed 4. I might actually be able to do this. Let's see, where are you going? You're going to Zeta? Okay, we're going to go ahead and let's find Hungary's army. Son of a bitch. We need to get to Hungary's army. We're going to attach Skanderbeg. We're going to give him to the uh, to the allied army here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach him. Let's go ahead and attach him to the Hungarians. And so that means that whatever battle happens here, they should have Skanderbeg in that army. Let's go and see what happens, actually. I've never been declared on this early. Actually, the Ottomans usually... Um, the Ottomans are usually busy. Yeah, the Ottomans are usually busy. We have the Castriotti air. Let's see. We're hanging out with the Hungarians right now. Um, we've engaged here. I do have Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg is in this army. It's a 5-5-5. Five, five, five. Because the value of the other guy, we only got a 2-2 two, two fire bonus. Wow, we actually won this battle. Check it out. And then uh, the Hungarians are going to reinforce even more. 23rd, 23rd of September. What's the date right now? The 11th? Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. Can you believe that? Damn. You assaulted Macedonia? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at this. This is different. This is, uh, this is a little more interesting. Wow. Okay, let's actually go ahead and, um, actually, let's go ahead and just fabricate this quick claim here. Let's actually go ahead and leave. We're going to go ahead and leave that. I want to see what's actually going to happen here. Let's see. There's an Eleanor von Habsburg on the throne here. That's pretty curious. Uh, we're going to take that 50 admin. Already, this guy is just, like, reeling. Holy shit. He's got Ottoman peasants, I guess, in, in the other side of his country. He's moving troops via transport. Wow, he's actually, um, he's attached troops to me. Okay, do we have any more forcement? We don't. Can I take this on? Yeah, totally. I've got a five maneuver. He's got one, so I don't take any penalty here. I can totally go for this. Wow, can you believe it? Holy crap. We're literally beating the Ottomans right now. It's going to attach two infantry. We're going to go take our core back. And then why don't we just go for a DNA? I think we should just have the Hungarian army and the Serbian army and stuff. Everybody just hang out right here. Let's just try and siege this down. He's trying to attack across the strait. 18,000 right there. These guys are going for Macedonia. We're going to wait until I think he's locked in. Uh, when is this army here? On the 10th. He's locked in now. When did we get there? Son of a bitch. We got there too late, actually. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stack wipe that. And let's come back here to Adirne. Ooh. Ooh. He's attacking across the straight. Actually, I don't think he gets a straight penalty. Oh, Serbia, you suck. Yeah, he wants Skopje. It's a Serbian core. I don't think I'll give it to him either way. Okay, so we have engaged here. Um, Skanderbeg is there. Skanderbeg is, is here. He's got infantry combat ability plus 10%. Can you believe that? <laughs> Damn, this is absolutely not what I was expecting. But okay, I'll take what I can get, man. Are you serious? Holy shit. We won that battle? Dude, this is nuts. You gotta be kidding me, right? If we take like a deer name, if we just keep occupying stuff, we could totally take like... We could take our core back plus like all of Greece, man. I'm not giving Skopje to the Serbians though, no way. That'd be, you'd be crazy. We're gonna have to... Um, okay, so we just took a loan, so we are losing a lot of men. There's pretenders here in uh, Athens. We gotta watch out for that. He's actually at low enthusiasm now. Wow, can you believe that? We've occupied basically all of the European side. 
Dude, that's nuts. That's nuts. I can't believe it. I can't even believe it right now. Am I am I dreaming? Am I, is it? Ooh, look at this here. The surrender of Maine. In exchange for accepting the Treaty of Tours in 1444, the country of Maine was promised to France. Wow. England actually gave up Maine. Can you believe it? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, don't miss the stack. Oh my god, guys. It was a stack wipe. I can't even believe it. I, I'm going to like poop myself right now. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. You're, you're nuts. I'm not giving it to Byzantium. You're going to give all of this to me. All of it. I don't care what you say. Look at this. Look at this. He's giving me three. He's giving me 340 admin worth of territory. Do I need the money? Yeah, I would love some money. Are you going to give it to me? Wait, does he have no army now? Oh my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe this. I can't. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know about this. Um, I could occupy even Plovd, even Burgos, and I'm gonna take as much as I can right now. We're gonna siege this down. I don't care how much. How much I have. Yeah, I don't care how much money I lose. We're gonna siege this down right now. We can even block Adam actually. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Dear Name. Are you kidding me, man? Do you know how lucky? Do you know how lucky you have to be to get this? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You know how lucky we have to be? Ooh, wow. Damn. Okay, he marks it pretty quickly. I'll give it to him. Byzantium declared war on the Ottomans. They cite reconquest as their uh, castus belief. They got the pragmatic sanction. Pragmatic sanction solemnly rendered by Emperor Frederick III von Habsburg on 31st of May, 1447. Established the indivisibility of his lands and established secession by order of firstborn child even to a woman. Wow, females can become emperor. Oh my god. I can't I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Do, do you know how lucky you have to be to get this? This is ridiculous. I can't believe it. This changes everything. Oh wow. Okay, okay, we have 91 war score. Okay, he declared a ring conquest. Okay, so we're gonna have him. Let me see here. No diplo for the return of any of this. Vote course. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And then what can I take? Uh, Skopje belongs to Serbia. A Dirne is a capital, so I don't think we want that. Do I even do I even want Vadin? Actually, let's go ahead and double check. Let me just take a look at what what Hungary wants. That's what I want. That's what I'm concerned about. So you Serbia, your ass is going down. I'm gonna kill you. You're dead. You're dead. I'm gonna declare war on you as soon as I get the chance. I know when Byzantium even wants a piece. That scares me, actually, a little bit. Byzantium's going to be a problem because, obviously, they have cores on all of this. They have cores on all of Greece. That's a problem. How did you get a claim on Kandar? Really? Oh, by, by C-Zone? Holy crap. Instant up right here. Okay, let's, let's, let's think about this here, okay? I have enough points. I can core all of this. The aggressive expansion is going to hurt. Kind of. Sort of. The Dean... I'm not giving you, yeah, I'm not giving you Scopia. No, no way. Uh, might as well just not waste the war score on that. Oh my god. 88 overextension. Can you believe it? 478 admin if I'm to take part. Yeah, all of this. Uh, how's war exhaustion? It's a little high. I've got no troops basically to put down any unrest. That's a concern of mine too. I've gotten to a lot of debt. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. I can't believe this right now. I can't believe this is even happening. This is our peace deal right here. 478 admin worth of provinces, I think. We pay how much Diplo? Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that coalition. That's terrifying. 233 Diplo. Can you believe it? 
Uh, let's see. Twitch chat says annex all of this and release Bulgaria as a vassal. I can't do that. And I'll tell you why, because Bulgaria could probably beat me in a war. So they'll probably declare independence wars or they'll be supported. I will admit it might, it might be worth just going for this and leaving Plovdiv and taking some cash. Might need just a little bit of cash. This is 10 development though. Come on. That's like, that's a lot. There's no Turkish territory here. This is all, uh, yeah, the South, the South Slavic stuff isn't going to be that hard to take. In fact, now it might be worth going Orthodox. Because there's no Catholicism here at all. Oh man, that's such a hard choice. You're kidding me. But that means that I won't be able to keep the Hungarian. I won't even be able to get an Austrian alliance. No way. Not if I'm a heretic religion. That's not going to happen. No way. How much How much debt do I have? I've got 27 ducats worth of debt. I have nine loans. Can you believe it? I don't know, man. 80, 88 overextension. That's a lot. I don't know if I can uh, afford that. But I'm going to go ahead and take this. Holy shit. Okay, we paid off all the loans. We have corruption now. Let's go ahead and lower this maintenance. Oh my god, look at this spending. Holy god. Okay, let's come over here. Yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty horrible, dude. <laughs> it's pretty terrible right there. Uh, I say buy this down and start coring like immediately. We're going to go ahead and just raise the autonomy in a lot of this. Dude, that separatism is out of this world. That separatism is so high. At least, I, at least I have Hungary here. At least Hungary could probably help me. We're going to go ahead and ally Austria now. It's going to be time. Uh, neutral attitude, uh, diplomatic reputation. Oh, damn. Actually, no. We can't, uh, we can't ally them just yet. Okay. Let's go to improve relations with both of these guys. We're losing about a ducat a month. This overextension goes away when? We're going to go ahead and reduce overextension. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't even know about this. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm kind of considering going to Orthodox. I'm really considering it. The, my only fear, my only fear about going Orthodox is, is I lose the Austrian and Hungarian alliance. We might not, we might not be able to keep it. They won't want to ally with an Orthodox guy. And if we don't ally, at least either Austria, Hungary, I guess I could keep the, the Austrian alliance. You know what? I have no choice. I have to take this. I cannot stay Catholic. No way. We will be destroyed. We will be annihilated by rebels. Let's go ahead and just check how big some of these are. Six, 10,000, 16,000, 15,000. No way. Unless Hungary will help me out, I can give him military access. Naxos. Declared war in Ragusa. No. Actually, you know what? That would work, wouldn't it? Let's actually come over here to Hungary. And uh, let's go ahead and offer him military access. We're going to rival Wallachia and... What about Ragusa? I need Venice to be friendly. I need Venice to be friendly. Um, yeah, I'll give it to you. Sure, it's a little bit of relations boost. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need to get him as an ally because I guarantee you the Renaissance will fire, and I'm gonna need him to help me out. Let's go ahead and offer. I want you to have military access to me. I need you to be able to do that. 
Okay, let's go up to speed five. I guess we're just going to keep an eye on these rebels, man. We're going to be killing some people here pretty soon. Um, I'm going to need Hungarian assistance for sure. Serbia's going to die. <clears throat> Bosnia announced me his arrival. Monthly autonomy change or national tax modifier. Oh, dude. Dude, that hurts. That hurts. Fourteen, ten years of autonomy change, or until the death of Skanderbeg. I mean, come on, Skanderbeg is is how old? I mean, come on, he's he's forty three. He might die. He might die. Come on, let's go ahead and go on speed four. Let's go ahead and go go ahead and go on speed four. War of the Roses is already fired. Holy crap! <laughs> the Ottomans want military access. Should I give it to them? I'm gonna have to attack. I, I'll have to attack Byzantium now. They're definitely a target. He's allied with Trebizond. Look at that! Look at that! Look at this! <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> Are you serious? How, man? I don't understand. <laughs> Can anybody explain how this happened? What the hell, dude? I don't understand. By the Ottomans declaring war on me, I was guaranteed I was allied with Hungary. We literally just won that war, dude. Skanderbeg! Skanderbeg, you're so good! <laughs> You're so good, Skinnerbeg. Ah, man. Um, I actually, I don't think I'm going to take this. I don't think I'm going to let him. Really? He's sieging down Constantinople? Oh, shit. Do I want him to win? Not really. No, I don't think I do. Okay, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here, and, and we're going to continue with this. I am super excited for this now. Holy shit. Three, not even not even four years has passed in the game yet. We already just got all that land. We're going to see how this goes. So thank you so much for watching as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'm going to see you in the next episode. Thanks so much.